Okay, well, I, it's going to take me a while to blog about it, so if you want to try and make these macarons uh, in the very near future, what I did, I piped them always on top of the seal pad, but since I can't, I don't have batter to show you, I'm just going to put this little parchment paper on top and I'm going to mimic the movement I did with my Sharpie. So basically, you can find uh, printable templates for apple shape for free to download, but I decided just to wing it with the circle and I want my max to be smaller than the circle. So um, imagine that this is the piping bag with the batter. So what I did, I, pipe, I piped like a C shape in one side and then I went to the other side another C shape. So I did like this. One coming like this, then I went to the other side and did like that. So, you know, you have more or less two halves of the apple. And then I just fill the inside. And then, um, if needed, I came with a little needle and I just adjusted a little bit. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind, there is a tendency that you're going to make one side uh, a little with a little different shape from the other so keep in mind that they have to have a mirror image so if you tend to do this first circle a little fat make sure that in the next one you do this one a little thinner and the other one a little fat so that these sides when you form the apple are gonna match perfectly or as perfectly as possible so I find this very, very nice, and you just go like this, like that, and then you feel it. And you end up with a pretty cute apple shape. And um, when I make a blog post about it, I will make a video with the real thing. But um, if you want to try it, just go ahead.